Hello and in this video, we are going to learn how to split a cell diagonally in Word like this one. Okay, so let's get started. So I have an empty cell here and first let's learn how to split the cell diagonally. Uh, it is quite simple actually. We just need to go to table tools, click on the design tab and in the table border we'll go all the way down until you see there are two types of diagonal split here either diagonal down or diagonal up so in this case i'm going to choose diagonal down okay now the big question is how do we insert two different types of text in it so we want one text in this case i want product to appear at the bottom of the cell and then i want month to appear at the top of the cell now how do we do that in just one cell of course you can uh, insert a text box and then just move it to the desired position but it could be quite messy because then you will need to work with text box borders and send to back uh, bring to front and it will be really messy trust me i tried so let me show you a quick easier method so we'll in this case we'll utilize a subscript and superscript option so for the lower part of the cell, we we'll utilize the um, subscript option. Uh, so in this case, we'll type product. It's still to skew towards the top. So let's go to table layout and select this option product. Okay. And it's a bit small. So let's make it bigger. Let's say 14 and make it bold. Okay. Now let's move a bit further and for the upper part of the cell then we'll use subscript and in here we will type month and that's it. But we still have one more problem. You can see that the product in month uh, looks fine but the other cells containing um, the month June, July, August, September it is skewed towards the top so it doesn't look nice visually what we really want is for all the month to be somehow moved down so that it is aligned with the product and month type so this is um, not very complicated just select the text again go to layout text alignment and click on this button align center left and our problem is solved so that's it happy learning and see you in the next video